Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Muslim Farmville. Thanks for stopping by. I am Yasmin. Today, this video is going to be very short, but it's going to be a beautiful, lots of benefits, inshallah, for you and for me too. As you always see me, you guys, carrying my little baskets, collecting herbs getting eggs from the chickens from the ducks I always make sure I put my baskets a clean towel before I collect herbs because certain herbs have certain smells basil or thyme or oregano let's get scissors today we are going into the garden and I am so excited to share this video with you and I will tell you Kabbalah stories inshallah we are going to collect St. John's Worth. This beautiful herb, I know a lot of people take it for depression, for mental health, which is very important. And it's really important that you connect with your doctor when you are taking this herb, inshallah. But today, I'm collecting this beautiful herb that keeps coming back every year by Allah our Creator we don't plant this plant every year like our garden that we do like veggies and fruits naturally it comes back and Sabrina every year our oldest daughter really takes advantage of this beautiful plant it has so many benefits whenever she sees it she cuts it and she uh, puts mixes it with oil it has so many benefits for the skin as well so while I'm cutting this plant I want to share it with you why I'm really taking the time what's the reason a couple of days ago our boys two of them went for a ride with their two motorcycles when they both came back they were fixing one of them and both of the motorcycles engines were hot since they were riding it earlier while they were fixing one of them this is what St. John's looks like mashallah it's a beautiful flowers so Zach kind of accidentally wrapped one of the motorcycles hot engine and it burned him and the arm so and I didn't have this St. John's worth mixed at the house the next day he went with Sabrina the, all the children went to the lake hanging out the whole day they took food and everything Zach told Sabrina he said my arm is really burning it was the size of like couple of fingers you know your fingers when you hold it it was that size so Sabrina said I have St. John's worth oil Alhamdulillah she was able to help him and cool it down so she called me this morning that's why I ran into the garden and she said mama Zach's arm was really hurting and I was able to put St. John's worth oil and it cooled it down for him I was so grateful for her and I said Sabrina St. John's worth it's in the garden isn't it she said yes it is mom and she shared it with me she said since she wasn't here with me she said mama the way to know it's the right plant she says go to the garden and take a little piece of the flower and she said rub it together and if you see a purple color maroonish purple color she said no you have the right plant sometimes you know our children also teach us my husband is herbalist as you all know he has his whole what over 10 lines of herbs that he sells mashallah if you go fitra wellness dot com that's his uh, you will see our website inshallah 
So Sabrina was really this morning came through for me, mashallah, and helped me. And I thought I want to take the camera with me and share it with you. So right now, I'll just go ahead and cut a little bit of the flower and share it with you. This is what it looks like. It is the right plant. It looks maroonish, purplish. That's the right plant. Did you all know our mother Aisha Radlan Anha, Baraf and Muhammad's wife? She was a herbalist. When the men would go to war, it was her job to heal them, their wounds and their injuries and their burns. So us, we need to really utilize what we have. We need to take advantage of our herbs and not to let it go to waste. Look in your area and ask around if there is someone who can help you educate and teach you what herbs that grows in your area, what they are good for. You can help your family just like now I'm sharing this with you so I thought oh no this plant keeps coming back it's no chemical sprayed you can literally say it's organic because all we put is with water throughout the weeks and the Sun and that's it so now since I cut it from my garden I'm not gonna rinse it I know that it's chemical free if I mix it the herb and I rinse it and it's wet mix it with oil it's gonna get moldy and we don't want that so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it we will use dry glass mason jar not plastic we need glass so we will mix it with olive oil or if you have avocado oil also is good for the skin inshallah so I'm gonna Go ahead and use what I have. And what I like about this situation is it will help speed to heal the skin when it's burned and eases the pain also. Because when you burn, your uh, skin hurts for a few days. So that's one thing I want to make sure I have this available all the time for our homestead here our farm and if you cannot get hold of this kind of herb you can look in your co-ops and natural food stores in your area too and make your own oil so if something happens you can put it in the skin inshallah so since the glass mason jar is dry and the herbs are dry I'm just gonna put them there and mix it with the olive oil inshallah my husband and I both love making herbs and homemade things for our family. So he will come and help pour the oil, inshallah. And know this, it's going to have to sit into a dark cooling place. It will take three to six months. Long time. And it's okay because as I go, if I see any more St. John's wort, I will cut it, mix in it, add it some more oil, and so on, inshallah. We need to get into the herbs. We have to have certain herbs ready for our families for emergencies like this. I was so glad that Zach his burn can cool it down and I'm so grateful for Sabrina was able to help and have that oil ready from last year's mix mashallah so the, I'm using olive oil and mixing it that that's what I have and then I will go ahead and put it into the pantry inshallah that's really it little things like this will go a long way inshallah us moms we need to become like Aisha Raylan Anha inshallah so I'll go ahead and put it into my pantry where it's cool and dark and let it sit in there for 
six months inshallah it's a long time but if I need it I will bring it out so all you do is wait at it if you need some more herbs if you find it or a little more oil if you need it just make sure that every couple of days you bring it out and as you can see the herbs are on top I don't want it to get mold so I have a little bit of avocado oil Sabrina said you can mix different oils if you have it mom so we have a little bit of avocado oil mixing it I want to make sure the herbs are down they are not molding and I take my wooden spoon and I will mix it so last night my husband was able to put some more for Zach's burn and it's healing I know some of you will ask how is Zach he's doing good my husband put it for him some oil the same oil yep with St. John's worth on the burn area and covered it and he's I asked him I said what does it feel like he said when dad puts it the oil he said it cools it down immediately so he already started a little bit itching it that means it's healing so this is what it looks like now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back into the pantry every couple of days I will bring it out and kind of shake it around if you haven't subscribed to please subscribe give the videos thumbs up share it with your family and friends have a beautiful blessed day let's get into the herbs and take advantage of it the goal for me is to uh, help my family in any way I can and take advantage of these beautiful herbs that our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts it in the land and into our garden every year mashallah tabarakallah so I just mix it together like this put it back into the pantry Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh take good care of you I'll see you next video inshallah take care again